Hello and welcome to this eight heats of Robot Wars. The ball in this heat just fair for the flipper. And it, oh god, sorry. And welcome back. We've had a three week break and we're back for this one. I was on holiday two weeks ago and uh, a week after that I came back with a cold. I'm still not feeling under the weather but I feel okay to do this. Anyway, we're on to heat 8 now, or heat 8 if you're counting in letters. Whoever wins this heat goes through to the first semi final with already the seven that have already made it. We'll start off with Utensil, the number 15 seeds, Experienced Competitor, River Ram, and the Spike. They've all the winners as well. And also a newcomer, Remote 2. Remote. This is their new carnation with a rammer and on both sides. We do well this one. Also joined by 999, Spirit Defender, but never out of the heats. Likewise, this robot, 407. Three, two, one, activate. Not forgetting the house robots and all Sir Killalot. Sir Killalot. And already, Utensil has toppled over 999. And they push up towards Sir Killalot, and the hammer goes down on 999. So once the police officer is guessing the, the punishment, instead of giving the punishment, no pun intended. Nine 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 done by the police, done by Metropolitan Police, members of the Pet Metropolitan Police. Remote and four of seven are in a fight of their own. Ingenious weapon right there which Which rams robots and already is working and he's toppled over 407. Uh, excuse me. And already a push and a shove towards the flipper. 407, 999 is still fighting, but Utensil has a foot so Again, he's toppled them back over, but now Captain Hook wants a piece of the police. Three, two, one. They're on there. They're going to be immobilized for sure there. The flipper won't work because they're stuck right there underneath it. So I think that best them out. Now it's utensil and remote now fighting. Remote has never won a battle. So it could be the first time to go through because 999 has been immobilized for a bit, but they're still in the fight with Captain Hook, he's got his stuff on them. Utensil are experienced competitors. Former tag team terror champions as well with Spoon. Took part of the Olympic double special. Didn't didn't came second did it with Spoon. Seven, they're out. As good as out, the team from Sunderland. Remote attacking, but 999 are still in a fight. Utensil, now they've got him. And this time they're going to leave him, I think. So now, Circular Lock can now attack the 999. 
and the hammer goes down on this battle cease. So well done, it's utensil going through with remote. So the next round, while 407 and 999 are out. So I refer them back where they are. Now we'll have the second first round melee between the number 32 C's compact pussy ball. So, it has a flipper and a spinner. Very heavy robot as well. Next up, joined by Napalm from the Dartford Girls Grammar School in Dartford, basically. And also a newcomer, Tubes from London. Rammers on either side can spin on the spot as well. And experienced competitor, GBH. Dressed up on Emerson Fittipaldi's F1 Lotus. We've seen them in a friendly tournament, I think. Let's see how they all do. Three, two, one, activate. Compact Pussy Bolt doing the spinner and checking tubes already. Uh, GBH pushing Napalm into the flipper. Into the flipper and GBH can really push around robots, can't really topple them over. Very fast, GBH. The tubes now on their backs, attacking my and already Fiery Flynn pushing into compact pussy box. A bit of damage from Napalm to them with the two claws at the back of them, with a rubber at the front. Over GBA, under GBA, sure. And Hammer goes down, damage to compact pussy bot, keep pointless to the last wars. That's why they're seeded 30, 31, not 32, rather than the 31 seeds, not 32. The 32 seeds are demon. And I think. Tubes is now heading for the flipper. For the flipper. Three, two, one. Stay on the flipper, but a bit of damage sustained to Napalm from GBH. And now Napalm is but they're back on their wheels thanks to the flipper, and now they run over the equal flipper. Three, two, one. They're back in the arena on all fours. And there's Compact Pussy Boss again. Now, now they palms on their backs, and I think that's it for the, the Dartford Girls Grammar School. Damage was sustained, and tubes joining them in the, the at the graveyard over there. Sorry, and Dave palms underneath the flipper. Tubes. Uh, it looks like he's going for another flip, but no, rather so killer lots got an opening out of the arena. And now they got napalm on their claws. They're on all fours, but have they been immobilized for too long? They've been immobilized for too long. They're attacking Sir Killalot. Fiery Flint pushes them off. Napalm. And all oh, but back to normal now. As back toppled over by Compact Pussy Bot. Back on their heels again, but this time Fiery Flint made sure, and now the hammer goes down on Napalm. 
seats. Uh, so out goes napalm and tubes. Going through is the compact pussy ball and PBA. So for the line up in round two, the seats are kept apart, so utensil will face PBA and remote will face compact pussy ball. Now time for the main event for knockout, which is which is robots representing their hometowns. Tartan Terror, they're already through to the semi final. They're representing Aberdeen. Chronic there, they represent Kakadi. And Flash representing Edinburgh. Three, two, one, activate. And Flash underneath uh, Chronic now doing the attacking and Tartan Terror toppling him over with the with the flipper. Flash doing the damage very fast on Tartan Terror. These two are already through to the semi finals. Chronic looks out of it already, the team from Kekoni. Actually from East Webus Queens uh, rather. But Kakadi's the nearest town to the village. And now Chronics on the claws of Circular Lock. And they're on the flipper. Three, two, one. And they're out of the arena, in fact, so that's them out, so two remain. Tartan Terror struggling to get the flipper underneath Flash. Very low ground clearance for the rounding spike. Very fast this Flash. <sighs> Very yourself. Edge of your seat stuff. But now they've toppled over Flash, but Flash can run either way up, so that's what makes it very good, this Flash. In the low ground clear, it can run either way up, even if it's flipped over. Brilliant stuff, and Tartan Terror just doesn't have an answer for it, I don't think. For it, I don't think, and they've been toppled, given the hammer vibes. So kill a lot, now got Tartan Terror on their and they're on the, the book, but they they use the flipper to sell, right? But are they stuck? No, they can run each, But Flash, what happened to Flash? They're on their side. They can't. Right there, on their on their sort of backs, rather. And that has left them vulnerable. Tartan Terror senses victory. Just leave them alone and they have won it. They see. They sense victory and. Oh, but they top. Remove. Wait a minute. Have they been immobilized for too long? They're back battling, but have they been immobilized for too long? So we give it the benefit of the doubt, it looks like Tartan Terror pushing it towards the wall, but Flash, uh, they were mobilized briefly, but was it for over 30 seconds? I can't tell, I've got a timer on me, I'm afraid. Confusion reigns. Uh, Flipped over by that. Flipped over again. Farley Flynn, are they pushing Tartan Terror? Cease calls. And I think I hear from the judges that, uh, in this confusion race, the Flash will really go points, but they, but for some reason, while Sir Killop was attacking 
Spartan Terran, they got inadvertently too close and got themselves on their back home over line. So on that basis, Tartan Terra are the winners. Uh, Aberdeen reigns over Edinburgh. I think Aberdeen are playing Hearts tomorrow, so it could be a, an omen for what's to come. But unlucky for Flash, did quite well, I thought. Could have won it. Just luck. Uh, luck. And you make your own luck in this. Tartan Terra the winners. But now back to the wars. As we have the first heat semi final, utensils on the number 15 seeds and GBH. Three, two, one, activate. And Tartan Terra already attacking GBH, got the claw, and they've got him on to Captain Hook. Captain Hook stuck on GBH, but GBH has got him back. And they've immobilized them on the side. They're on their spike. Oh, but they're back up and running, but they can run either way out, but the ram is kind of off. The scoot is sort of off. They are GBH. Doing quite well at this stage, so Phil Lopper gets to go out of the way there. Doing quite well, and ooh, they're hitting the wall there. What's this? Circular lot. I'm trying to attack one of the robots, it looks like intensive because I think GBH are doing all the work. Uh, I don't think they were immobilized for 30 seconds. They were immobilized for a bit, but Sir Killalot did help them out a bit. And they push them towards the flipper. That's a good tactic. They can't. Oh, this they can't. Just, and they. And they've taken the flipper with them. But what a battle this is. And the flipper's on its. They can't use the flipper now, but. And it kind of looks like their spinner but sort of is, is kind of wedged on their wheels, making them helpless to move. Now they're back off, and utensils back on off, back on the right way up, where the scoot can actually work, and they are attacking now GBH. GBH. Stuck on Sir Killalot, good taxi by utensil, but GBH I think are doing all the work in this one. And they only immobilized them at the side. And I think it's all over for Nutensil, the number 15 seeds. Uh, that's a surprise. Uh, I thought they might win the heat. They were my prediction anyway, but what do I know? GBH have caused us an upset, I think. Nutensil now. The team from Leicester and Leeds. They're out of the arena. GBH are the winners. Well done to them. What a surprise. Cease. Cease is called a new tensile. Wave goodbye to the seeds. They were hoping to drop knock the five of their seeds and make one. Not this time. GBH go through to their first ever semi final. final. Who will join them? Remote, we've never gone this far before. And Compact Pussy Ball.
three to one activate and compact pussy box got over the coach's remote with the rammer attacking them already but the compact pussy box has got them by their side and have they not yet remote giving a little bit of a whack there the rammer has done very well in the first they push him towards the wall, remote, very sluggish though, but he's doing quite well at this stage, this is the second incarnation of remote. Remote 2, they're underneath, the And they're using a tactic, used, or using to go underneath the flipper, that didn't work quite well, in this one. And the hammer goes down on Compact Pussy Box. Compact Pussy Box. Push over the water flipper, but back down again they go. If they get flipped over, they have a stream deck, but I don't think that's going to happen to them here today. Remote really doing all the work here underneath them. They have this cast there to make it spin on the spot. Very innovative. On remote and furry flip. What are they trying to do? Oh, they push one of the books out of the way. Compact push you the spinner and back again. The pushing fiery flit out of the way, remote, now on their, uh, and they're using the self-writing mechanism to try and flip them out, and they're on the boot, they're on the boot immobilized, and out are they? They're on the side, compact pussy bot can now sense victory, and they're on their, and they're on their back, they can't self-write, so, I think it's all over for Remote 2. Did quite well their first battle, I thought. Could have caused a surprise here, but no. It's not to be. Compact Pussy Bot are going to be the ones to go through. They're already spinning into light. And the hammer goes down. Cease. Well done to Compact Pussy Bots. They go through. To the heat, to the semi, to the heat final. Two robots I didn't expect to get as far as seventh at this stage. But what do I know? Now type of pinball action now. And next up is pen flip. Who are who are already through to semi finals in the last season. Now let's see how they do in pinfall. Three, two, one, activate. And they're going for the ball already. It's out of the arena straight away. And Fiery Flynn, oh, Fiery Flynn. They hit the, that target. What are they doing to this? And and they topple over, so kill lot. That target's been hit. And that one. They haven't gone for the ramp. They push them on the book and hit that target and that target. This is a good run from, from Pen Flip. Good challenge, A kill. They have to go over the ramp to get the, the full points. And that target's been hit. They try to go. The sensational run by them. And can they do it? Yeah, they've got the points they need at that time to hit again. They got the points they need to equalize A kill. Cease, tilt rather, as pen flip equal. Just obliterate the pinball field and they equal A kill's score. 500 points, hitting all the targets, the ball, and
and the round. So he kill might have to share the total perhaps. Well done to Penflip, five hundred points for them. Health robots will need to work out their strategy maybe for the next health for the next robot. As we now have the heat final, GBH and Compact Pussy Balls. Two robots that have never been to the semi finals before. Three, two, one, activate. And GBH already, they're the first compact pussy bot now. Trying to attack. And GBH have now found their way underneath from the. And they got him on the flipper. I believe they're weak there. Sorry. Are they do all the work, really? Work, really? Compact Pussy Bot gets a hammer down from Sir Kill Lot. And now the two robots have been separated and now GBH pushing and pulling compact pussy bot. But now they get a lucky flip in and GBH are on their back so they can't self right. So, and it looks like compact pussy bot is going to go one better than last time. They are going to win this heat. I didn't think they would, I didn't even think they would, but now GBH have been well and truly bodily harmed. No, previously bodily harmed. Joining the graveyard with the team that they bet to get here, New Ten Soul, and they're out. Cease. And Compact Pussybot are the eight winners of the heat. And they join the first semi final. Join us next time. We will we will start heat heat nine or heat I. Where we will be joined by number 16 seed and reigning Olympic champions, Samurai. See you then. Let's hope this call runs its course here on Robo Wars. Goodbye.